Okay, hi everybody again, it's the Vape Crusader here. I'm just going to be talking for a minute now about um, whether or not you should go for a portable charging case with your e-cigarette. And the answer to that depends on the extent to which you would like your e-cigarette to look like a normal, old-fashioned, as we call them, analog cigarette. Um, so we can take, for example, uh, this one, which is um, from a company called Libero. This is a very, very, very tiny um, e-cigarette, probably the shortest on the market. And that's, that gives you a, a really good vape. There's plenty of throat hit and so on. So don't be fooled by the size. This is just as good as the bigger cigarettes. Um, and there we are, it's tiny. Um, or you can go for something like this, which is um, an 808 from Jack. And that's very good too. Um, or perhaps this, which is a very sort of slimline case. Um, and this is from a company called Exhale. And there's that one there. So you've got three different kinds there. The ultra small, the sort of medium flavor and the slightly bigger. And it's no surprise to hear, you know, this will give you an hour before it needs recharging. This may be an hour and a half and this may be two to three hours, something like that. But with all of those, you're really going to want a portable charging case so that you can charge one battery whilst you're vaping on another. And then when the one you're vaping is dead, you just swap them around. And your alternative, of course, uh, is to go for something like this, a performance e-cigarette. Um, the battery here is much bigger. This one will last you something like 10 or 12 hours. That's how long it lasts. Me as a former 30-day smoker. And you can fill up this tank at the top with a load of e-liquid. So... This one gives you a lot more um, performance and flexibility and so on, whereas this one looks a lot more like a normal cigarette. So essentially, you pay your money, you take your choice. Thanks for watching. Open up your eyes.